Hello! Welcome to my Eggy Workshop tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll learn about the timer. First, let me show you how to set the target time in the timer. The units for the maximum and minimum random target times are in seconds. If both of them have the same value, a fixed time is set in the timer. For example, setting both to 1 will fix the time to 1 second. Setting different values for the maximum and minimum target time creates a time range. For example, if you set the max time to 100, it will generate a random number between 1 and 100 to serve as the time for the timer. Please note, the timer stops after one cycle by default. If you enable repeat timer, it will automatically repeat the cycle. You can also control the start, pause, and reset of the timer through event. Let me demonstrate by adding some buttons. In the advanced settings of the timer, you can see events when the timer starts, pauses, and resets. Assign these events as start, pause, and reset, respectively. Then open editor and add three buttons under add controller. Name the displayed text and event trigger tab for each button as start, pause, and reset to match the above functions. Once this is done, tapping the start button will start the timer. Tapping pause will pause the timer. Tapping reset will restart the timer. Now that we're clear on these settings, we can use the timer to schedule an event to start after a specified time. For example, to make a small tile start moving when the timer finishes counting down, simply set event when target time is reached to 1. Then, add a motor to the small tile and set the motion parameters for the motor by assigning event start the motor to 1. This trick is good for making time-limited escape stages. First, attach a death zone to the floor. Adjust the floor to match the size of the stage arena and keep it hidden underneath. Then, add a motor to raise the floor. Set event start the motor for the floor and event when target time for the timer to the same command raise the surface. If a player cannot clear the stage within the specified time, the death zone will rise and the player will die. Now, let's review what we've learned today. Alright, that's it for this tutorial. See ya next time.